One thing I buy in the grocery store every single week, I'm a little embarrassed to say, is a rotisserie chicken. It helps with lunches throughout the week, you can throw it in a salad, you name it. So today's special is rotisserie chicken. And I'm gonna show you two super delicious recipes. Opposite sides of the spectrum, we're gonna make buffalo chicken dip. And then I'm gonna show you how to make a Thai-inspired chicken salad that we're gonna serve in some lettuce cups. Let's get started. Usually when I get home from the grocery store with my rotisserie chicken, I will shred it off the bone first. And that's great because it'll stop the cooking. Sometimes those things are piping hot. So assuming we've done that already, let's start with nothing better in a dip than some cream cheese. And you're gonna have all the usual suspects that you have when um, enjoying your buffalo wings. So we're gonna be putting everything in the dip. We're gonna put our hot sauce, most importantly Frank's Red Hot, because um, it has that extra little bit of vinegar and salt. I love the salt in Frank's. We're gonna be using a good amount of Frank's, three quarters of a cup. Let's add the hot sauce into the bowl. We're gonna head to the microwave and I'm gonna microwave this for about two minutes and I'm gonna go in halfway through and give it a good little stir. So now I'm gonna grab some blue cheese, uh, blue cheese crumbles, and I'm gonna grab some ranch dressing, Worcestershire sauce, and our shredded chicken. All right, so now I'm gonna whisk the cream cheese and the hot sauce together until smooth. All right, so now I'm gonna add the chicken, the shredded chicken. And I'm gonna use all of it today, but I'd say I get like two or three meals usually out of one chicken, depending on what we're doing with it. Now we're gonna add some ranch dressing. We're gonna add about a cup. Don't at me, I'm eyeballing it. Is this eight ounces? Yep. I'm gonna eyeball this too. About half a container. And then a couple teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. So now I'm gonna combine these together. I honestly could stop here and be satisfied. I'm gonna go grab my baking dish. I'm gonna grab a three quart baking dish. Um, but if you only have a two quart, just extend the baking time to about 45 minutes. Transfer the mixture to the dish, spread it out. The hard part is done, and now I'm gonna go pop this in the oven for about 10 minutes, going in halfway through to stir. Going in there to stir, stir everything together. And this is important just to make sure that it's you know evenly hot throughout, because now we're gonna take this dip another notch and sprinkle some sharp cheddar cheese. As if it couldn't get any healthier, we're gonna sprinkle some more healthy stuff on it. All right, I'm gonna return it to the oven and bake it for 10 more minutes. I'm gonna use a spoon. But you should just get in there. Celery. But I'm gonna taste it with the old chip. Oh my God. This is, I don't even wanna say how good this is because there aren't gonna be any rotisserie chickens left at the <laughs> grocery store. No, but seriously, this is like, the most amazing buffalo wings you've ever had without the bone in a dip form. Oh my goodness, I really am, like when people say, mm, this is so good, this is like so good. Now, we're gonna lighten things up a little bit and we are gonna make some Thai style chicken salad that I'm gonna serve in lettuce cups after I eat like 5,000 more chips. Just kidding, bye.
This is a really great recipe because it uses a lot of different types of ingredients. And again, hopefully you have them in your pantry. So I wanna make our dressing first. So now I'm gonna mince a shallot and I'm gonna mince a garlic clove. I'm gonna cut it in half with the root end still intact and then just peel the papery skin off. All right, so now I'm gonna add some fish sauce, just a couple tablespoons. And this is an ingredient that um, I love to use and kind of sneak in when I can, because it has a ton of umami. Um, and it's just such a flavor powerhouse. So I like to add it when I can. It's really readily available in most grocery stores, so it's definitely worth seeking out if you have the opportunity to do so. All right, so now, because that can be a little bit salty sometimes, um, we wanna add a couple tablespoons of brown sugar. And this is also gonna help for the texture of the dressing too. Plus it'll balance out the acidity from the limes. And we're gonna do some red pepper flakes, just a little bit. And give it a little whisk. Dressing is done. Now it's time to make the chicken salad. I'm gonna put this aside. This is Thai basil, and it's quite similar to regular basil, um, but it does have a little bit extra licorice flavor, sort of. Um, so if you can find it in your grocery store, definitely, definitely get it. But if you can just find regular basil, that's totally good too. Um, and I'm also going to use some cilantro. And if you notice, I'm just kind of just kind of tearing the stems in there too, because this is all going to get chopped up. Um, and then I'm going to use some mint. So unlike using the stems for those, these are more tender. The stems with mint are a little bit woodier, so I don't want to be chopping on those. And you know, if you can't find all three ingredients, or if you only have a couple at your house, and you don't feel like going out to find more, just you know, use what you what you have and what you can find. But these, if you can find these three things, they're really good together. Nothing fancy here and take your time with your knife. There's no rush. And I'm just gonna kind of, I'm a lefty. So I'm gonna just kind of hold my fingers over the front there, front of the blade. And just do this rocking motion And sometimes what can happen with basil is if you cut it too much, you know, and really roughly or um, use a knife that's not very sharp, sometimes it can bruise and turn black. But with this, I think rustic is okay. So just run your knife through it. And also, for the best result, make sure your herbs are dry when you're chopping them. Because if you've just rinsed them, they're gonna all kind of clump together and they're also gonna turn a little dark. All right, so I'm gonna add this to the bowl with the chicken. So this is definitely a good make-ahead recipe too. So I would just keep the chicken mixture um, combined in the fridge and then keep your dressing separate and then you could just assemble it when it's time to eat. So here I have a nice ripe mango. Um, you know it's ripe when you can push your thumb into the flesh and it stays a little bit indented. There are a lot of different ways to cut a mango but this is the way I like to cut it. I'm going to cut each side off because there's a pit that runs along in the inside. It's sort of shaped like an almond, and on one side it can be a little bit more round and bulbous than the other. So this kind of gives you a little bit more maneuver, maneuverability. Maneuverability? Wow. And cut one more. And then here's where things are gonna get exciting. Yep, oh yeah. There we go. I'm gonna just try and imagine where the pit runs. And all this is gonna go into the salad. I'm not gonna throw any of this away. It's in there, it's really fibrous. But what I like to do, once I kinda of get to the point where I realize I'm not gonna get clean cuts, just put a little lime juice and some salt and snack on that bad boy.
I'm gonna run the tip of my knife along the inside of the peel, and we want a quarter inch size pieces. So bear with me while I'm sort of doing this. And then you can go like this. All right, so just using the tip of your knife, use the peel as your protector for your fingers. You just kind of carefully slice the mango off the skin. And if it's not perfect, you guys, don't worry. And if this made you nervous, I'm sure that we could just, you know, run your knife parallel to the board away from you, and you can just kind of do it that way too. Perhaps that's a much non-scary way to get the mango off the peel. Add a little bit of salt. Give it a mix. All right, so now I'm gonna add the dressing to our chicken salad. Oh boy. It's super colorful, it's fresh, it's sweet, it's salty, it's all the things, and it's so good for any time of year, especially when you're just trying to eat a little bit lighter. And it keeps for a little while too in the fridge, which is always a bonus. All right, so once again, I'm gonna clean up, let this hang out for a little bit, and I'm gonna go grab a head of bib lettuce, also called butter lettuce. I'll show you that in just a second. I realized I forgot to mention though, it's also called Boston lettuce. Um, and what you wanna do is down by the root, you just wanna kind of carefully go in and pinch each leaf off. And these are gonna be our little cups for our chicken salad. You just wanna find the best ones that are good for cups. These are Thai chilies. Um, they are small, they're vibrant red, they are beautiful. And this is just for a garnish, um, so I'm just gonna slice it thin. Again, if you don't have this, you can serve it without, um, but they are just so good on there. And yeah, I'd say if you don't like spicy things, probably leave them off, and then also leave out the red pepper flakes from the dressing. I grab my platter. So now I'm gonna put out my lettuce cups first. And this is definitely one of those recipes that you saw how easy that was to make. But just because it's gonna be displayed like this, people just assume that it's so fancy and it's definitely gonna take your, your presentation skills to the next level. And I'm gonna evenly divide the chicken salad mixture among the cups. Oh man, those look so good. All right, so I'm gonna grab a couple limes too to help garnish the platter. The same way I cut the mangoes, I'm gonna square off the limes. Again, just so it looks a little bit different. Just place them in the platter. All right, I think it's time to give it a try. This is a home run day, you guys. Woo, a little spicy. Ah, oh, rotisserie chicken was perfect for this. You get some sweetness from the brown sugar. A little bit of kick, obviously, from a little bit of the chili flakes. And that lime juice, shallot, garlic, fish sauce, all those herbs, mango. This is good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to eat the rest of this. But hopefully you will buy a couple rotisserie chickens at your next trip to the grocery store and try these two new recipes. See you next time. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe.